Well, what do we have here? We have Super Battle Road once again, but this time we are taking on Peppy Gals yet again. We haven't taken on Peppy Gals in a very, very long time. Hope you guys enjoy, of course. Hit that subscribe if you have any new for more content. And uh, we are going to go ahead and get started. So, we do have the brand new Chi Chi, and we also have the brand new Bulla on the team as well. We are also going to come back with uh, Bulla and show her on hybrids. Uh, because she's actually going to be really interesting there, and I want to do that. So we're going to do that probably tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But she's a very, very good unit. If you want to know what her Awakening and what the Chi Chi Awakening do, I will leave them down below in the description in a breakdown video that I did uh, a few days ago. So anyways, this is a team that we are using. There are, of course, other units like Khalifla. And that I just didn't choose to bring them, okay? Whatever. <laughs> so we are going to, for now, do that. Now, actually, I need to I need to actually square up with, with uh, Brienne real quick. You know, so I I forgot exact. Doesn't she seal? She seals. Yeah, she does seal. Okay, that's really good. Uh, also, the more HP remaining. Okay, okay, got you, got you. Okay. Um. So for Chi Chi, she's really really good. She offers a 120 percent defensive boost. Um. She has some more. She's about 50 percent, I believe. Actually, let me do that really quick. Yeah, actually 50 even. Okay. So we are going to go here. Why would why for what reason I get why but don't and then for Brienne you can swing at the Goku to seal him up before he gets the opportunity to hit you in the last spot and we are good so assuming that TN doesn't super we're fine too the Bon Show fan actually never mind TN ain't going to be super in because she seals I just remember that too perfect perfect that's perfect <laughs> So we actually should have sealed the Goku with uh, with uh, Chi Chi, but we're good. We'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm super excited though about the fact that Peppy Gals is like getting more support. I can't wait till they get like 100% leader at least. No, 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 not 100%. They have Brienne. Uh, 120%. Excuse me, at least that would be so fun. At least 120. But I do love how, of course, this is why I said we should have sealed the Goku. I do love how though. Um, this game and Legends are really trying to push females right now. So, like, the next units coming to Legends are Kale and Khalifla. They just dropped Mai, who's an insane unit who freaking fights with her freaking pistols and stuff. Like, it, it's so dope, like, that they're trying to do that. And it's just, it's so corny, but it's pretty fun to play with the teams. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite team to use is. Uh, so, for now, what we're going to do is we have both of them sealed, which is pretty awesome. We don't have to worry about much. We're going to have Bullet here, then. She can go at the Goku. Um, yeah, yeah, she can go at the Goku. Brienne here can go at Tien. And Super Rare Brienne. Uh, you can you can just take out Tien, whatever. We'll just take him out. I should have sent Brienne after the Goku, to be honest, but that's fine. By the way, on this team, she has a 60% dodge chance. We'll see if it actually winds up happening, because right there, it sure didn't. All right, so Vegeta! Our favorite peppy gal. <laughs> oh, she got a crit. Nice. Okay, additionals did come through. I maxed out her additional, I believe. Just for the video I'm going to do later. And of course she didn't take out the TN. Wow, that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, so Bulma is here. Bulma's actually a really, really interesting unit to have right now. Because of her defense and her healing, of course. She's a really good unit to have. It just sucks the Goku isn't sealed anymore. It's going to make me do this. And I don't want to do that, but I will. We'll bring Chi Chi back. Don't worry. Just that, you know, the non-sealing, it's, it's going to like, I don't want to get supered. Because I don't have, to be fair, 230,000 HP pretty much is a lot of HP for this team. But I still don't have that much HP, right? To be fair, though, they also don't do a whole lot of damage. I don't know. I'm all over the place. It's literally 8 a.m. I've been up for like 30 minutes, so <laughs> forgive me. Anyways, guys, uh, I want to point this out for you guys. There's a glitch that's going on with my YouTube channel specifically, um, and it's not kind of the ones that we all have. This is my channel specifically. Uh, Rhyme said he had it a few weeks ago as well. I'm not going to elaborate on that, but just know that if you guys aren't, or if you guys are subscribed, excuse me, make sure you do enable those notifications. Just because it's just going to keep on doing the regular thing where it doesn't give you notification. That's normal. But also for my channel, like I said, there's another thing that's going on that I'm working with YouTube to fix. So make sure you do that. Anyways, uh, we have triple. Uh, okay, well, we have double Brienne here. And we also have the Bulla. Um, 
if he doesn't super in the front spot, we're good. That's all that really matters here. And Bullet can get all these greens, which is nice. And we will go right there. Cool. So that should be enough to take out the Goku here, especially because the Bullet will have the type advantage and her attack goes up with her super. I wouldn't be surprised if her attack actually is pretty close to the Brienne's here, 500k. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, see, I, that's the thing. Hers is almost 500k, and she doesn't even get a natural attack boost. It's just she's the first unit in the game. See, look at that. Look at the attack difference between her two attacks. It was 490 to 570. She is the first unit in the game that has a massive attack increase that stacks indefinitely. There are units that have a great attack increase, right? There are units that have a regular attack increase, like UI Goku, I believe, has a regular one. But a massive one is 100% bonus. She is the only one in the game that has that. For one, there are only a few units that have massive as a modifier anyway in the game. Like SS3 Gotenks is like one of the old other ones. It's like probably like, it's probably like two or three total, including the bull up. But she has it to where each attack continually raises and goes up and goes up and goes up and goes up. That's a crazy ability, which is why I said I want max additional because I'm gonna cheese the heck out of that in the video that's coming out soon. Uh, oh wow, I'm sorry Krillin, I'm so sorry, but there's nothing but int attacks there. All right, all right, Krillin, I'll spare you. I'll spare you. We'll go after the Vegeta. Hopefully, she takes out the Vegeta. I'll spare you this time, Krillin. I'll spare you. I have to come back to you, though, unfortunately, at some point. I'm sorry, man. And it's the Krillin with the hair, too, man. That feels so bad. That feels so bad. Leave F in the chat, man. Play your respects for the Krillin. That's going to have to go down. Uh, we will go. Man, I kind of feel like. Man, I don't play with this team enough. I kind of feel like Brienne. Ribrian. Super Ribrian, in fact. Excuse me. Because, yeah, there's a difference. There's a Super Ribrian, a regular Ribrian, and a Brian de Chateau. kind of feel like she needs Rainbow Orbs. Yes, yeah, she does. She heals with Rainbow Orbs. That's right. Okay. I didn't actually wind up bringing regular uh, Ribrian, though. That's the physical one. The STR are super types. Oh, the dodge. Yes. Okay, 770,000 attacks. That's actually pretty high on this team for Kefla. That's actually pretty high. Come on, one more super at least. One more, please. Of course you would just lowball me like that. Just give me absolutely nothing. At least you're giving me dodges, though. I'll take it. At least you gave dodges. Next time, send nudes. All right. <laughs> Gohan, don't be throwing softballs. What the hell? Wow, Bulma, you really didn't tank that? Bulma, are you serious? Are you serious? I trust you, and this is what you do. That's exactly what you do when I trust you. I finally have to use a stupid item now. Man, the ceiling that they do is really, really clutch, apparently. Hold on, let me see the defense. Chi Chi's a 120% support unit defensively for this category. 120 and, and uh, three key as well. That's an insanely high number. That like, as you see, these units can't actually take effect with yet. 60K defense at our best scenario is not that great. But again, under a one, 150, 170 plus leader, that's gonna be an insane support unit there. They're actually, and like, this category is kind of weird because there's units that deserve to be ran. Like the Videl, the Int Videl, I think she's really, really good. So, like, whenever I try to take on this stage, I always have to sit there and, like, man, who do I actually wanna bring? Because a lot of these units are about the same tier, like, as far as like being relevant. So, I, I kind of just, like, bring units, don't bring units, whatever the case is. Um, I guess we'll go back here. Chi Chi Sia. Uh... Man, hold on. Does Chi Chi seal? Or is it just those other ones? I mean, like, damn, are they. They give me, like, a million sealers? Yeah, she does. I'm like, they gave me a ton of sealers. That's right. I knew Chi Chi sealed. Um, since that's the case, Gohan just supered. We're gonna seal the Krillin. Um, I'll leave Chi Chi and Bullet together for a little bit. And Bullet, you can go after the Gohan. And why not? Might as well just seal the Vegeta. Also, all of them are debuffed anyway, because Brienne. Brienne is very, very good. Oh, Krillin, he looks like he's in so much pain. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. 411, Vegeta. Come on, additional super, do it. Do it, additional super. Aw, oh, man, dodge, though. Dodge? Yes. I'm so mad at Bulma, though, for last round. She didn't tank those hits. Her, her passive to tank is on a per-hit basis. So she didn't actually wind up doing it. She might have got one, but not really. All right, so double supers here for the Brienne. 
Vegeta's going to attack three times and do absolutely nothing. Okay, so these guys have seemingly more HP than the last setup, which is fair. Kefla can go on the front. Um, two of these guys are sealed. That's hilarious. <laughs> I have so much sealing. Uh, we're going to kick the Bulma off rotation from here just because I don't know if I can really trust her. In fact, Kefla's not going in the front. I'm going to put you here just to seal the Gohan before he gets a chance to super. Now Kefla can go at the Vegeta, actually. And Bulma, you can get that green, whatever. A little bit of that same color orb stuff. Looks like we're going to have to get a Dokkan attack against these guys. It looks like we're going to have to get a Dokkan attack. I'll actually try to give it to Chi-Chi. Ordinarily, I'd give it to Kefla, of course, but I'll try to give it to Chi-Chi. All right, Kefla's coming through. That news. Oh, additional crit. Additional super, please. No? Okay. That might have been her last attack anyway. All right, so Bulma. No crit. Thanks. I appreciate you so much. Oh, the dodge. Uh, okay. So we are going to take this opportunity to just seal again, by the way. Which this, the sealing is incredibly clutch because I can dictate who can hit me and who can't with all the sealers that I have now. Having three sealers is a lot. Uh, so Chi Chi is going to super attack the Vegeta. Yep, because Gohan is sealed. Oh, Krillin could potentially super me, but it's fine. Uh, Ribrian, should I give you the reds or no? We will give you the reds. Yeah, yeah. So I think with this, I, as long as I don't give Kefla those orange orbs, we'll be fine. I love how she always goes and gets Vegeta, man. Every attack. Additional, please. Ah, man. But see, your attack is climbing. It's climbing. It's climbing. Chi Chi with a crit. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well, Chi Chi's fine. Oh, a Dokkan attack would do a lot of damage here. It would. It, it actually could potentially clear them out with a Dokkan attack. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to set that up. Like I said, I just have to avoid giving the same color orb there. Uh, who's sealed? Nobody? Vegeta. Okay. And we mainly went at Gohan here because he was the one that had the most HP. Of course, he comes through with a super. That's fine. And also, the Brienne's, like, their debuffing that they're doing is such... Like, this is such a good utility unit for this team. It's funny to me how, like, every new unit is pretty much what this team needs. It's really, really cool. All right, Kefla! Do it, Kefla! 82k, okay, uh-huh. Additional crit, I'll take it. Oh, dodge too? Oof! All right. I, I really wish I went at uh, Gohan here, because I thought Kefla would probably do more. This might take out Krillin. Okay, no, we're good. Oh, the dodge, okay. <laughs> the dodge, I didn't expect that. Oh, look, Bulma and Bulma. I didn't even plan that, it just happened. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna try to give uh, Bulma some rainbows for that, you know, HP up, but I don't really think that's really gonna happen much. There's only one rainbow. Uh, two of them are still sealed, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, I'll give her the rainbow though. Every little bit counts. Hopefully we take out the Vegeta here, cause he's not sealed. That would be amazing if we take out the Vegeta at least. I clicked that one early, damn it. That's annoying. All right, so 499,000 attack stat. Yes, you can finally see the attack stat again. <laughs> I don't know why with the last update you stopped being able to, but yes, it's so nice to be able to see it again. All right, 350 just was, oh, that was nowhere near enough. Bullet was the best candidate because her attack is so freaking high now. Other than the Kefla, that is. Oh, that was nowhere near enough. At least here we take, oh, please don't super my, my Bulma. Please don't. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh, additional, if she crits, she takes him out. Ah, okay, at least she tanked it. Okay, we're good. Oh, man. Wow, Chi Chi, you're out here underperforming. Underperforming, big time. Um, we'll go here. I'll leave those two linked together, of course, for their like metamorphosis or whatever they have. 
And then we'll go for the Reds. HP up. And Keflo, of course, of course, as you expect, will take it out. And we move on to the final round. By the way, guys, if you have made it to this point of the video and you guys have been enjoying today's video, of course, make sure you leave a thumbs up to support the channel, of course. And uh, from there, our like goal is going to be incredibly high. I'm going for 2K likes. Let's see if we can get it. All right, we're moving on to the final opponent. Woo! Salty, guys. Master Oji, salty, guys, team. All right, there we go. Um, okay, well... What we do? What, who's attacking where? Okay. Wow. I kind of really want to leave the Brienne in the front spot. But we're going to test the dodging abilities. We're going to test her dodging capabilities. Her attack goes up. 60%. There's how many attacks here? Five? Okay, so she should dodge three of them. Unless my math is horrible, which I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I always underrate my math skills because I'm trash at math. Anyways. Uh, well... There's a whole lot of rainbow orbs here. I kind of don't want to use an item. I kind of don't want to use an item at all. I kind of feel like I should use a Whis. I feel like I, I feel like I should. I will. I don't want to, but I feel like I should. They're also getting debuffed, so I really shouldn't have to. Um, we're gonna seal the Yamcha. We're just gonna try to take out Yamcha. See? Oh, please dodge the Oolong. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'd be talking about. There goes a the dodge. Dodge the next three. Do it. Law of averages. Do it. Oof, additional normal, unfortunately. Yes, there's one. One more. Oh, there we go. Okay. Law of averages kicked in. Sucks it didn't kick in for the super attack, though. Just saying. This is such a good rotation, though, because you have attack support, you have defense support, you have two sealers, you have debuffing as well. Like, there's a whole... This is such a good... This is probably one of the better rotations that this team can actually output. It just, like I said, I'll keep on saying it, but it does suck that their leader skill is so bad because these are all pretty much summonable units, which means that they all pretty much have that summonable dupe path, so like the potential system path, to where they get plus 5,000 at their best. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's the scenario that these units are in. The only one here that... Well, the her and uh, the Super Rare Brienne, technically, right? But, you know, for the best units in this category, they're all summonable, pretty much. So, like, they have the potential. They just probably don't ever really reach it too much. Uh, we have two rainbows there, which is not a bad amount. But I kind of want to do that. We will do that. I should have retargeted. That was a misclick. That's fine. We're good. All's well that ends well. We're good. We're going to seal here. Oh, he's already sealed. Double misclicks. How fun. That one was just a misplay. That was just a bad play. We're going to go here then. Oof, dodge. Dodge. No dodge there. That's fine. Okay, 685. Crit time. Oriwa Pansu? Pans? Pansu? No? Okay. All right. Oh, additional. Oh, man. I've been watching too much Brooke on One Piece. I, I gotta go ahead and get his full quote. I'm gonna start saying it in videos. Watch. It's gonna be my next awardee, that thing. I'm gonna just say Brooke's whole quote. Oh, Kefla, please. Oh. Uh, crit. Crit. Do it. Do it, Kefla. Yeah, there we go. I do not regret choosing Yamcha now. Let's just get him up out of here. I love how Oolong's attack, he's just turning into, like, he's regular Oolong, but he turns into a missile. And then here, he's he's the big Oolong. Of course, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball, you don't really get the gimmicks that he has. But nonetheless, that's pretty cool. Oh, additional's coming through for the Bulma as well. Kind of feel like I should have just ran Khalifa instead of the Bulma. I, I, next time, I, I, I should have done that. I think that would have been more fun. Um. Oh, hey, they're back. The rotation. So we're going to try her dodges again, just because why not? And you can actually seal the Yamcha again. We'll just keep him permanently sealed, pretty much. And then Brienne, go over here to Roshi. No, no, no. Come over here. HP up, too, because the Rainbow Orb. So much healing. There's so much healing. That's really cool. All right, dodge there. Almost 500,000 attacks. And, like, her attack doesn't get, like, impressively high. I think the highest it was was, like, 570,000. But the potential that she has is so interesting. And, like, the implications she has uh, potentially for future units, too. Like, another unit like that would be insane. I don't know what they were thinking, allowing that to be a mechanic. Let's 
400k, 400,000. We're actually doing really, really good here. Because we can just, like I said earlier, just dictate who's able to hit us and who's not. Which is a huge bonus. Like right here, Oolong isn't attacking until the final spot. So I can leave my rotations how they are and just force seal Oolong eventually. And Roshi doesn't attack before he would get sealed here. And the Yamcha's already sealed. So I can seal the Roshi. Can go hard at him as well with all those orbs. And then seal the Oolong here. This is like, this is, this is top level gameplay. I freaking wish that sealing and stunning never became invalidated on boss fights because I used to love bringing gimmicky teams like full sealers, full stunners, but I can hardly do it now because, and also the leader skill boosts that they get are pretty trash, but I can hardly do it now because the game has just gotten to a point where they don't let you do it half the time. Okay, Kefla coming through with an additional as well. I need to get Kefla alongside the Bulla. That's what needs to happen. I've had her here on this other rotation when she really needs to be alongside Bulla. Because she's the best uh, benefactor, especially with the number of orbs she's been getting in this video. She'd get the most out of using Bulla, but I haven't gotten her alongside her, admittedly. I don't think I'll have an opportunity to in this video, but next time I, f I for sure will. Who knows, though? Maybe it takes me another, like, three or four turns to beat them. But And if it does, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, float her from here. They're all sealed, by the way. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go there. That's fine. We'll send you after Yamcha. Keep him sealed, like I said. Yamcha is no longer sealed, so we do need to target him again. I actually should have put Chi-Chi in the front, though, for what I'm talking about. But I'll trust the dodges for this whole fight. Okay, so 76. No dodge there. No dodge there either. Okay, there's a dodge. I was like, okay, well, I'm trusting it. So, so 573. We might actually see it eclipse 600 here, which is really cool. We might see it eclipse 600. 590 for Chi Chi. Oh, Chi Chi's not even Rainbow Star, by the way. Like I said, only only 50%. So she has a lot of potential to go up more. Okay, and Bulma additionals as well. Bulma's been probably, aside from Kefla, of course, probably been the one that's launched the most additionals, which is cool to see. Okay, so from here, I'll leave the rotations as they are. Uh, Super Ribrian, you can get those. I just should have saved those for Kefla, but whatever. Uh, it's actually not a big deal that I don't give Kefla much because I want to float her here. I don't want her to solo it. And she would wind up pretty much soloing this. Mm. And then from here, we'll go there too. I like don't even need to use items. I use the Whis. And a heal, but like this is a no item run with this team is 100% possible. I might come back and try it. It's 100% possible because they have so much healing and they have uh, so much ceiling and just stuff like that. It is 100% possible. It's just that second fight. That second fight gets kind of weird just because they, you know, they, they throw supers more often than these guys were able to for one. And they hit pretty hard. So that second fight's pretty weird. But it is 100% possible. I think I'd, again, rather run uh, Khalifa, though, for a little bit more damage output because you do need the damage output. But Bulma, in, for all intents and purposes, Bulma is just an overall really, really good defensive unit. And she's a healer as well, so. Look at Khalifa, or Khalifa, excuse me. Oh, that is Khalifa. That's a Khalifa half of her. Uh, that's the, <laughs> the Khalifa part of her fusion. Because uh, Kefla, they just took Berserk, Kale, and Khalifa and made them into one unit. That's all they did with Kefla, so. Dodge chance again. We're going to go at Oolong here. Wow, I have to postpone this turn and the next turn if I want to get uh, Kefla here. I can do it, maybe. We'll see. I might be able to do it. We'll see if we can do it. At the bare minimum, one of these guys should survive. Ooh, so many dodges. I love dodges. <laughs> It kills me. Oh, look at the attack set. It's at 730,000 now. <laughs> She's the best offensive unit here now. <laughs> Aside from Kefla, of course. She's the best offensive unit on the team. 
Wow. Wow, I think that's the first. Look at how much she eclipses Chi Chi. And Chi Chi gets what, 120%? Oh my goodness. By the way, I think that's the first super that we've seen in a while. And I think because she's, she was so powerful, I don't think we get to postpone. Yeah, we, we're not going to postpone this. There's no point in even trying. She was she just did so much power or so much damage that I couldn't do it. The additional really screwed us there. I tried, but it is what it is. She actually naturally has the highest attack stat here by a mile. 234, uh, 85 for the Brienne. Or Brienne, excuse me, Super Brienne. It's all over the place, man. Anyways, I, so I love this unit. This is such a cool unit. By the way, you wouldn't think that she's younger than Pan, but she is. Look at that outfit. I didn't give her level 3 dodge, though, my trademark, because, I mean, you guys know she has it built in. But, all right. Well, I guess that is it, everyone. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Super Battle Road video. Hit that subscribe if you haven't new for more content. Share the video out with your friends as well if you think they would find this uh, humorous, enjoy it, whatever the case is. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your support here on the channel. It means a ton to me, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. So have an awesome day, everyone. I'll catch all of you in the next one.